Douglas village. This is covenanting country. The covenanters fought against the Anglican form of worship. The Reverend Richard Cameron preached in St. Bride's Church. His followers were called Cameronians. In 1679 at Drumclog near Loudon Hill, the Covenanters defeated the King's troops under Claverhouse. But a month later, an army under the Duke of Monmouth routed the Covenanters at Bothwell Brig and the killing times began. a conventicle at the scene of the battle in remembrance of those who died for the covenant. At Aird's Moss near Muir Kirk, exactly one year after Bothwell Brig, the Covenanters suffered a crushing defeat. Among the dead was Richard Cameron. Hamilton, like Lanark, is a borough with a long history. The county buildings are here, serving more than half a million people. The mausoleum where the Dukes of Hamilton were laid to rest. Cadzo Forest on the Duke's estate, said to be a remnant of the ancient Caledonian forest. Some of these trees are a thousand years old. The wild, white cattle of Cadzo still roam the forest. Between Hamilton and Motherwell, on the banks of the Clyde, a great new project is underway, Strathclyde Park, a vast nature reserve and recreation area. Three miles downstream, the 14th century Castle of Bothwell looks across the river to the busy town of Blantyre. Here, David Dale of New Lanark owned the Blantyre cotton mill. Blantyre in Dale's day looked something like this model of the village. The old village is now gone, except for the Shuttle Row. Here, in 1813, was born one of Scotland's great men, David Livingstone, medical missionary and explorer in Central Africa. The Shuttle Row became the Scottish National Memorial to David Livingstone and is visited each year by thousands who come from all parts of the world. 